In this last example, we have two rental agencies that have different rates for renting their subcompact car, right? Renter price uh, charges $50 a day plus 15 cents a mile, and Mavis charges $45 a day and 20 cents a mile. So um, if you rent a subcompact car for one day, um, for what number of miles will the two companies have the same total charge? All right. Well, we need an equation here. We need, <laughs> we need an equation for the cost of renting each car for a day, right? Now, we don't know the number of miles. So um, let's make, um, we'll let x is the number of miles that we drive that car during the day. All right, so let's first of all look at an equation for renter price. Renter price, all right. Now they, their cost, I'm gonna write a function C of X, right? If C is the cost is a function of the number of miles that you drive. And they charge a fixed fee of $50 a day and then an additional 15 cents, whoops, 15, 15 cents um, for each mile that you drive, right? So if we take 15 cents times the number of miles, that's gonna be essentially our variable cost, which is, it varies because it's, um, it varies with the number of miles, right? So we take 15 cents times the number of miles and then add the $50 fixed charge. Then we get a, an equation for the cost of, um, of the renter price car. Now, uh, let's do the same thing for Mavis. Mavis, um, let's write a cost equation. Let's actually distinguish these two because they are different equations. So I'm going to call this C1, or I could call it CR for rent or prize. Um, let's call this C sub n. So sometimes you use subscripts um, to distinguish. <laughs> we have two cost equations that make sense to use C, um, but uh, they're two different cost equations because they're two different uh, rental agencies. So I'm going to distinguish the two with a little subscript. All right, so they charge, Mavis charges $45 fixed charge and then 20 cents a mile, 0.2. That's so, everything's in dollars, right? It's so I, so I, I'm saying 20 cents, but it's 0.2 dollars, of course. Um, all right, and then if I, so if I, if I take 20 cents times the number of miles that we drive, um, that would give us our cost. That would give us our total cost, right? If we add the $45 fixed, fixed cost plus 20 cents for every mile that we drive. So now we have two cost equations, and then we want to know um, for what number of miles will the two companies um, cost the same, right? Have the same total charge. So what I'm going to do is just set these costs equal to each other. It's essentially like a substitution. I'm substituting one cost into another, into another right? So I'm going to set these costs equal to each other. So I've got 50 plus 0.15x is equal to 45 plus 0 0.20x. All right, now everything is in terms of one variable, so I should be able to solve it. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do, is just gonna subtract 45 from both sides. All right, so I get, um, and then I can also, let's do this, let's subtract, let's do things, two things at once. 15, uh, or is it 0.15x, we're gonna subtract that from both sides. All right, so the 45s will go away. Um, 50 minus 45 is five, and 15 cents times X can go away, and then I have 20 cents or 0.2 minus um, 0.15, so I get um, 0.05 X, all right? Now I just need to divide both sides by 0.05. Now that's five one hundredths. All right, so the other thing I could do, rather if I if I wanted to, because I know that that's five one hundredths, I could I could multiply by one hundred fifths, and that would be the same thing. Um, or you could just use your calculator and divide by point zero five. Um, but you can see that you're going to end up with um, one hundred on this side is equal to x. All right, so um, the number of miles that uh, where the two costs would be equal is 100 miles. 
So this is miles, right? Okay, so that's that's our answer for um, this first part. All right, so let's look at the next question. The next question is asking us, if you plan to drive 75 miles, which agency will have the lowest cost? Now you could reason it out and just say, well, okay, 75 miles, that's below 100 where they're equal. Um, so renter price charges $50 a day plus 15 cents a mile. So if you're gonna drive um, a high number of miles, it might make more sense to buy or to, to, to uh, rent from renter price because they charge less per mile. So it would make sense that that would be uh, a better deal for more miles, whereas Mavis charges you less per day, but more per mile. So if you're going to drive fewer miles, it might make sense to, to rent from Mavis. All right, that's just the kind of reasoning it out. But um, what I would, uh, what would, would probably want you to do in this case is actually let's calculate the costs for each one and just compare them. All right, so we have cost functions for each one. So the renter price car um, at 75 miles. So I'm going to, the input is 75 miles. And um, I'm just going to take 50 plus 0 0.15 times 75. Okay, put that into my calculator and I get um, 61.25. So $61.25 to um, rent from renter price if you drive 75 miles. So let's do the same thing for Mavis. Let's do uh, C sub M of 75. And so we have 45 plus 0 0.20 times 75. I put that into my calculator and I get an even $60. So you can see indeed that um, Mavis, Mavis is cheaper. All right, now if we plan to drive 125 miles, which agency will cost less? Well, again, you can see that renter price charges more or charges less per mile, so it would probably make sense that that would be a better deal if you plan to drive a lot of miles. But let's go again and and uh, do the same thing. Let's find the the cost for each um, each company by just plugging in um, the value for x. So 125 miles. That's our value of x. So renter price will be $50 plus 0 0.15 times 125. So what do we get? I got $68.75. Let's do the same thing for Mavis. Let's calculate the cost at 125 miles. It's going to be $45 plus 20 cents a mile, 125. And so that gives us an even $70. Okay, so you can see indeed that renter prize, renter prize is cheaper. All right, that's all I have. I'll see you in class.